All right, so now we're ready to set up React in our front end, and we're also going to make it so that we can run the React Dev Server and our Backend Express Server at the same time using concurrently. So let's go ahead and in the root here, we'll run npx create dash React dash app, and we want to set this up in the client. Okay, so we want to create a React application in a folder called client and npx if you're not familiar with uh, it comes with npm or, or it comes with node.js and it just allows us to run create react app um, or other things like it without having to install it globally on our machine so that's what npx does okay so react is now set up in the client folder here so i could cd into client and i should be able to run npm start to run the the react dev server and that will run on port 3000. Now, the issue with this is I don't want to have to run, you know, npm start inside client and then have to run another command to run the server in the back end. So we're going to set up concurrently to do both. So I'm going to control C and CD dot dot back into the root here. And in my package dot JSON within my server within the root, uh, you can see we have concurrently already installed as a dev dependency. And I'm going to create a couple new scripts here. So one is going to be to run the client. So we'll call it client and we're going to run npm start like we just did, but we need to run in the client folder. So we're going to add dash dash prefix and then client, which will run it within the client folder. Okay, and then we want a script called dev that will run both the server and the client. We can do that using concurrently. So concurrently in the way that we do this is we escape the quote. So backslash double quote NPM run server backslash double quote another one. And then we're going to do NPM run client so that both run and then just one more double quote at the end and that should do it. So it'll run both of these with this one dev command. So let's save that and we'll try it out by saying NPM run dev from within the root here. So it starts up port 5000, which is the back end and it starts the front end react server. All right. So that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to just stop this control C. I just wanted to make sure it worked. And the next thing I want to do is I want to install some of the depend dependencies for the client side. So I'm actually going to CD into my client. And let's go ahead and do an NPM install. And as far as the dependencies, we're going to need Axios to make HTTP requests. You could use the fetch API, but we're going to be doing some specific things with, with Axios, like creating uh, global headers and stuff like that. So I would recommend using it. We're going to need the router. So react dash router dash Dom version four. And then we're going to need Redux react dash Redux Redux. Thunk, which is middleware to allow us to to make a synchronous request in our actions. Um, and then we're also going to be using Re uh, Redux dev tools. And there's a, a package we can use to make that a little easier. So Redux dash dev tools dash extension. Okay, so that'll just make things a little bit easier. Um, and then let's see, we also want moment which is a, a date and time library to format date and time. And then we also want react dash moment so we can use moment within a component. So that should be everything. If I miss something, then I'll just install it later. But I I'm pretty sure that that's all we need. I'm trying to keep the packages to a minimum. All right, so that should be all set. Now, another thing that that I'm going to do, and it's up to you if you guys want to do this within the client folder, within our react app is there's a Git repository initialized. I'm going to delete it because I don't want it. I, I'm just using my Git repository I already created. So I'm going to delete the Git ignore and the readme here. I'm going to delete both of those files and I'm going to CD into the client and delete the Git folder. Uh, whoops, I'm already in the client. So I'm just going to run RM dash RF and then dot Git, which will delete the folder completely. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to CD dot dot back into the root. Now, one more thing I want to do before we run the server is in the client side package dot JSON. Okay, you should see all the re react redux, all that stuff. Um, we need to add a proxy. And the reason for that is because when we make a request with Axios, like let's say Axios get, I don't want to have to do HTTP 
local host 5000 I don't want to have to do that I want to just be able to do slash API slash whatever profile so in order to do that we need to add a proxy so we're going to go under the last item here which is browser list which ends here make sure you don't do it within it so we'll put a comma and then proxy and we want to set that to HTTP local host port 5000 okay so we'll save that And now we should be all set to go ahead and uh, make sure you're in the root and then npm run dev. All right. So in the next video, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup, get to get rid of like this logo and the styling and stuff like that. Um, also bring in our CSS from the theme and some other things as well. So I'll see you in the next video.